welcome to tonight's vlog. If you've seen my last video, you know that I'm in the process of becoming a 5 a.m. morning workout girly. I explain how I'm doing it and why I'm doing it. Tonight's vlog is all about my nighttime routine. I'm going to be taking you along with me and it starts now, so it's like perfect because it's gonna be all in real time. The foundation of waking up in the morning and becoming that 5 a.m. workout girly that I wanna be is resonates all in my nighttime routine. Okay, so after I get off work, I kind of just chill, do some things, whatever I need to do, and then once it's time to make dinner, that's when my nighttime routine starts. I also would like to preface that I love to cook and I have been teaching myself how to cook over the last four or five years. I didn't know how to cook anything, so I've been teaching myself. My fiance, Adam, is an amazing cook. I've learned a lot from him also, and I just love making new dishes, and it's, a it's one of my favorite forms of self-care. When I know that I'm feeding my body like nutritious foods, it like makes me so happy and, and I'm still constantly learning. So I cook about 99% of my meals throughout the week. I eat at home almost every meal. I maybe go out to eat like once or twice a week. Cooking is one of my favorite forms of self-care. It's just something really fun that I look forward to do every single night. Now there's nights where I'm tired. That's, that's normal, that's okay. And hopefully I have leftovers in the fridge that I can just heat up or maybe I take out a freezer meal or something like that or maybe I go out and grab something to eat on those days if it was unplanned, but for the most part, I love to cook. I'm actually gonna bring you along because I'm really hungry and it's about dinner time. It is, what is it, 5.30? Usually I start cooking dinner anywhere from like five to 5.30, so let's go. I've already started a little bit. Tonight's dinner is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. Um, it's an oregano garlic butter baked cod and I'm pairing it with some pasta and some broccoli, so it's gonna be really, really good. So we are in the kitchen and it's 5.30 and the sun is literally about to go down. So hopefully we still have good natural light and then I have this bright light in my kitchen. So uh, hopefully the lighting is good during the nighttime routine. Obviously at night it's not the best lighting. So just bear with me. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys. I don't always use my tripods. Sometimes I just prop my phone up random places because it's really convenient and easy but I do have some cool tripods that I use to like film my dinners for TikToks, Instagrams, Reels, stuff like that for my stories and it's just something I'm constantly doing because I'm doing it anyways and might as well just share it with you guys too. So this is actually, I'm going to show you one of my really cool tripods that I have. This is my tripod and it's really cool looking. Um, oh, that I just preheated the oven to 400. So I'm about to bake some cod in there. Um, so then I have this and I put my, actually my phone's in there right now. So yeah, that is the situation for right now. The oregano garlic butter baked cod is going into the Kim Fit program recipe ebook. So the recipe will be in there. By the way, if you don't already know, I have my own fitness program and you can sign up today. I'll put the link below in the show notes. If you have any questions, you can always Instagram me, message me, whatever, and we can chat about it. But in the program, it's a structured workout program. So I provide you with workouts, day-to-day -day workouts. And I also have included a recipe ebook. It has over 24 recipes. It has breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And I always add recipes to it as we go. So as I'm going, I'm throwing new recipes in. Sometimes it's every week, sometimes it's once a month. It really just depends. So this recipe is going into that recipe ebook. I'm so excited. I also do post, so the recipes that are in the Kim Fit program are exclusive to just Kim Fit program members. 
Now, I also have different recipes, separate recipes that I post to my Instagram for free and my TikTok for free. So don't worry, if you're not in the program, you'll still be able to get awesome recipes from me through my Instagram. I put a lot, a lot, a lot of free content in there, so don't worry. Okay, so the water is bubbling for my pasta. I have, so I have a food scale, I'll link it below. This is my favorite one, and I like to weigh out portions from time to time. I mean, I don't weigh out every little thing that I eat, but I like to do it sometimes, like for, for pasta, for carbs, uh, for protein mainly. Um, and then if I'm just curious, or maybe I'll take a week and I'll start tracking for a week, but I'm very like flexible, lenient, um, but it's just sometimes good to know because I wanna make sure I am getting in my protein, so sometimes I will just track my protein at the very least. So the food scale helps me with that. 55 grams of pasta is usually 200 calories. So I'm doing a little over one serving, not a big deal. I'm not like super strict. So this is going in, water is boiling. So now I'm going to get my cod dressed with the oregano garlic butter sauce that I made. I made like this paste and then I'm gonna film it on my phone. After I'm done with that, I'm going to put it in the oven and then we'll chat a little bit more after that. All right, so now we're gonna bake this for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. And then we got our pasta going in here and it's looking great. I'm going to air fry some broccoli. You guys, it smells so good. Oh my God. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Woo! All right. dinner like I have to go right into cleaning or I really won't do it for me I love waking up to a clean space a clean kitchen because it just puts me in the best headspace and as so now I'm gonna eat dinner then I'm gonna clean up then I'm gonna prep my coffee beans then what I like to do is decide if I want to go on a walk or not and if I do then I'll do a walk after dinner after dinner clean up prep my coffee beans then I'll get into the rest of the nighttime routine with you because tonight um, I'm not gonna go on a walk after dinner, so, but I leave that open for like my, in my nighttime routine, it's like walk, optional. So, but tonight we're not gonna do a walk. Okay, so this is the root beer Olipop. It's my jam, I love it. I think my second favorite is the orange squeeze one. That one's really refreshing too, but this is my thing. And you know what, I just decided we're gonna do this in a wine glass kind of deal because I love to drink my Olipops out of a wine glass. It's like my new favorite hobby. So let me go get that situated, hold on. Olipop in there. I love Olipop so much. This Chobani coffee creamer sweet cream. Let's put a little dab in here. I think you don't really need that much, or I feel like I don't need that much. That's like perfect. Mm, so good. Okay, now let's eat, I'm really hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean up and then we will reconvene and we'll do the rest of the nighttime routine. So this is my espresso machine. This is the Breville Bambino, and I absolutely love it. This is my little scale that I weigh out my coffee beans on. And this is my new beautiful baby. It is the Eureka Silencio, and I'm obsessed with her. She makes my coffee amazing, and these two together, so good. Let's go ahead and weigh this out. It 
depending on like everything that I need to do for the night, my nighttime routine can take anywhere, like including like dinner and cooking. My nighttime routine can last anywhere from like an hour to two hours. Still, like after I clean the kitchen and I do the coffee beans, I like to tidy up the house and I like to just organize anything that's out of place. I really do love all areas to be somewhat put together when I wake up for the next day. And you know what, usually there's not too much to tidy up, like usually everything is pretty in its own place. So I'll just like pick clothes off the floor or whatever and I'll just like do any laundry I need to do, just put that away, just like anything that's like I kind of left around the house, I just try to put back. And then also after that, I like to lay out my clothes right now, the night before, because I just feel like when I wake up, like it's the last thing I wanna do is like try to like figure out what I'm gonna wear. So tomorrow is actually Friday for me. It is a pull day in my fitness program and I follow my own fitness program workouts. So it's a pull day, upper body day. So we're mainly gonna hit back, arms, Whatever I can do the night before to make my life easier tomorrow morning is what I like to do. <laughs> and then we're gonna get into skincare. I have some clothes on the floor. I'm going to put them in their proper spot really quick and yeah. During this time, I will take a magnesium Epsom salt bath because that is so calming for sore muscles and for stress relief and anxiety. Um, so right now I'll do skincare, do a bath, or if it's hair wash day, then I will do a shower. It just kind of depends on the night, but hair wash day was last night. That's another thing I wanna do with you guys too. I wanna share with you guys my hair products. And I have some really awesome hair tips and how to go in between washes and, cause I only wash my hair like once or twice a week, probably like twice a week, but. And I also like to lay out my clothes <laughs> before I get in them for the night. Um, so does anyone else do that? I feel like I'm weird. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get into my jammies and I'll see you guys soon. After the skincare, I am pretty much done with my nighttime routine. What I like to do next is like as a reward of completing the steps in my nighttime routine, I'm trying to train my brain like to do it in order so that, okay, dinner, clean, um, do my coffee beans, <coughs> lay out my clothes, tidy up, go into skincare. Like these are all the things that I am trying to train my brain to do. So it's second nature right now. I'm just kind of like forcing the habit because this is what works best for me and this is what makes me the happiest and I feel like having a nighttime routine is a really important foundation for your morning. Um, I definitely think it starts the night before. Um, so as a reward of completing my nighttime routine, this is the time in my nighttime routine where I decide if I want to have like a small dessert. Um, usually what I do is I am in a calorie deficit most of the time. I am on a weight loss journey. So I decide, like I usually carve out a couple hundred calories for a little dessert at the end of the night if I want to and still be in a deficit. So actually <laughs> tonight, like I said, that Olipop with a little bit of creamer was like the perfect dessert. So I don't really feel like I want like any kind of like dessert. Um, but if I do, I would get that, make that, or have just a couple pieces of chocolate. So now I'm entering the part of my nighttime routine that is my favorite part. It's making my hot tea. I use David's tea. I will link my favorite tea below. It helps with bloating, digestion, and I just feel like after dinner, like, and I wind down, it's hot tea. It's so calming. It's really like relieving and soothing. Like now this is the part of my nighttime routine that I want to really work on. Like I said, one thing at a time and I've already came this far and done this much. So we will make adjustments as we go. So it's just something I wanna look into and work on in the future is ending the night reading 
no TV at night, like right before bed. Like I wanna watch, I wanna probably watch TV earlier in the night, like before I'm winding down. So I would like to have hot tea, read, turn on my hatch alarm and listen to the unwind sounds. I think I have like a waterfall and then after that it goes into like light rain and then I can change it. I have a million sounds that I can change it to. I love the hatch alarm by the way. Let's go make the tea and we'll come back and I'll chat about the hatch alarm. This is like my favorite part of my whole nighttime routine because like some of my nighttime routine, I'm just like running around doing everything I need to do to set myself up for success tomorrow. And then now I really get to take the time to just relax. I plan to update my night routine as we go and as I change things and as I adjust. When you're trying to create a routine, it's really important to start slow. You don't wanna just add a million new things at once. Like for example, I have that habit tracker that I told you guys about. And I am at like 70, 75% of those habits I've gotten locked in and like I'm doing regularly, but there's still like a couple, there's still like 30% of those habits I'm like not there yet. And I do it some days and I don't do it every day. So I'll get there. Um, but it's just a work in progress. And I think that like, especially if you're started in January, you just want to like do what you can this month and then before February starts, reevaluate and go from there and see how much progress you can make each month. It is not a race. You do not need to do everything all at once. In fact, like I always say, zero to 100 never works. It's just not a great way to run your life that way because it's not realistic. I really do want to touch on the hatch alarm because I've heard it all over socials. I've wanted it for over a year, but then I kept saying to myself, no, I don't want it. I'm not gonna spend that money on it. And like, I'm telling you, like people have raved so much about it. And I just kind of like said, you know what? Sleep's important for me. This is how I justified it, okay? Sleep is really important. I wanna wake up really early and nothing I've been doing has been working. I created a nighttime routine, I got the hatch. The hatch has woken me up the last two weeks and it has been amazing. So if you struggle with sleep or you're having a hard time getting up in the morning or you wanna become a morning person and it's really hard for you or you wanna be a 5 a.m. workout person, if your iPhone or the way you're doing things right now isn't working, I highly, highly, suggest the hatch because, and I'm not sponsored by any means, just saying, this is just my own opinion on it. Um, the cool thing is, is that you don't need a subscription on the app. You don't have to pay, but you can. If you do pay for the app, it's like $4.99 a month and you get more sounds, more items to choose from, but you don't really, that's not necessary and you don't need to do that. But I love that you, it does like a body scan meditation. There's so many sounds to choose from. Like I literally love it. And it's so calming. One of my goals is to get to the point where I, I wanna watch TV earlier on in the night and I want to read and then turn my hatch alarm on, which is the sound machine. And it does like an unwind sound and then it goes into a deep sleep sound and then it turns off and you can time it all in the app. Like I have the hatch app and you don't have to pay for it, like I said, but you get to like edit everything, change everything on your phone. Like you can change the time that you wake up. You can change all the sounds all through your phone on the app and fall asleep to that. Because I think that there's something about, something about watching TV right before bed that I think is screwing with my restful sleep. I think there's like studies on that and stuff like that. I just, I really want to get to the point where I do put down electronics about an hour before I go to bed. So you can also set it to a certain light. I heard that the red light is really calming at night. 
so while it's unwinding and doing like a nice sound that you like it has like a red light but you can turn that off i mean you can really do whatever whatever works for you but yes i am here to <laughs> just confirm that the hatch the expensive hatch alarm is so worth it so worth the hype and i'm so glad i purchased it i will link it below again we have made awesome progress and if you are also trying to wake up earlier i hope my tips have helped you i hope i hope that my nighttime routine inspires you to create your own nighttime routine that works best for you take what works for you leave what doesn't work for you this is like not one size fits all this is me sharing my journey sharing my routines my tips what i feel about things my opinions on whatever and just sharing with you so you don't feel alone because i know that this is me like hoping to inspire you to do your own thing that works best for you. I really want to emphasize that just because one person is doing something doesn't mean everyone needs to do it. Just because one influencer is eating a certain meal doesn't mean you need to eat it. That's huge for me. I feel like we're all so different and we all like different things like don't eat things you don't like you know don't do things that don't work well for you like if you don't like to journal and your favorite influencer is journaling you don't need to journal unless you like really want to try to do that and it makes you happy then then keep trying but like you don't need to do what other people are doing i feel like um i love i am sharing what i also love to watch because I love the community on YouTube. I love the community on TikTok and Instagram. I love and follow so many girls that are bettering themselves, all about wellness, health, give me so much inspiration, so much motivation. Like when I see somebody doing a workout, it makes me feel like a part of, a part of a community. I don't know how to explain it, but I also have made so many friends through social media. And if you're watching this and we chat and talk and you're one of my friends, I'm so excited and happy. And so like I would always love to I always love hearing from you guys so message me if you want to chat if you want a friend like if you're following like positive people and people that make you a better person then it's it can be such a positive place but yeah that's just my little spiel on that thank you guys for being here I literally love you guys so much this has been so much fun um, I can't wait to update you with progress and let you know how I'm doing and just a reminder that progress isn't always moving forward. It's not always in one direction. Sometimes it can be, and if you're lucky, it will be. You make progress and then you go back and then you make some more and then you go back a little and it's okay. Like you don't need to do things perfectly. Like I think that a lot of us get tripped up in the all or nothing thinking and that's what really stops us becoming our best selves and getting the results that we actually want. I know firsthand that that's why I used to not see results is because I did all or nothing thinking, you know, and we can get into that at another time too. There's just so much I want to do with you guys. I'm I think it was really important to do like a full on nighttime routine. And then I could do shorter nighttime routines too. Um, maybe I will do a shorter one where it's just very simple and vague. And I wanted to do like an in-depth one with you guys. Um, because like I said, I just started my YouTube channel, so I just want to get to know you guys. I want you guys to get to know me. I really want, you know, the real ones to know. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and hang out with me. It was so much fun. I really hope that you come back next Sunday or whatever day of the week it will be for you when you watch the next video. This is so fun. I am doing one video a week and I'm staying consistent with that. So just be on the lookout for that. Let me know what kind of content you wanna see. I always wanna do things that you, know, you guys are interested in. Thank you so much for coming along my nighttime routine with me. It was really fun to have you here and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>